Welcome to Top Shop Tours. Karn and Doug Olson had a magic shop complex at their Mondovi, Wisconsin farm for decades. Doug and his brother Bruce were doing a great deal of work on big equipment outdoors. Karn was managing the farm from the kitchen pantry. They dreamed of a shop that would not only provide ample heated space for repairs and an office complex to run the business, but also a structure where the family would gather on holidays and special occasions. Let's go talk to Doug about the shop of his family's dreams. So Doug, let's start out with the general structure. You had this erected 2012. 12. And you went with a structure that was what size again? 80 by 125 by 20. And it's a clear span building. Clear span building. Right. 20 foot sidewalls. Now I got to ask about that because some guys, there's a debate. It used to be 14 and it was 16 inch si or foot sidewalls. A lot of guys will go 18. You like the 20 just because of the clearance it gave you. We could get taller doors in the sidewalls. Our, our drive through doors are 17 feet, so we never have a trouble of hitting them. So talking about doors, I love the floor plan you have with your door arrangement here. Why don't you walk through the building and how you did that. Now, facing towards the east, right? Yep. On the doors over here. Start yep. there. Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of what we wanted, I guess. Uh, right. We figured we needed a drive through. The door is 24 by 17. Okay. And so we can drive two semis through at the same time if we want. And these are opposing on the side yep, walls. Yep, east of the and shop. west. And then off the end wall, that is a larger yep. uh, overhead door. Yep, than that 30 by 18. And that's where you bring the planter in or the combines? Combines, in. mainly combines and, and planters, I guess, yeah. You got to talk about the windows because we do have windows on the doors. Yep. But you put your windows and rather large windows at the top of the building. Explain why. For light. Light and a little bit of solar heat in the wintertime. It does. It, you know, when I walked in here without the lights being on, I was amazed how light it was yeah. in here without the lights on. Yeah, there's, there's days that we don't even turn them on. That's kind of a nice feature to have. Would you do that? You'd recommend that on any shop if someone yes. were building it? Yes. And that size window, some guys put in too small a window, it appears to me. Because you went with a wider window up there. Well, they just kind of fit the area, I guess, nicely. Yeah. I think they're three by eight, I believe. Now, the other thing is when we came in that I found unique, and I've only seen this in a couple other shops, you kind of almost have a living area right outside the office with a television. And that's something you can clear away if you have to. If, if you we have to, space. yeah in front of our 20 foot door. If we need to get something in there, or seriously, we can move all that out of the road and, and use it. Well, your kids come over quite a bit. Oh yeah. And you've got at least one grandchild. Yep, one grandson. And then they come over here and play then. Oh yeah. Again, the, the shop almost became kind of partly living quarters, isn't it, in a way? I mean, where it's... family and friends will gather here. Not that you're living here, but you're entertaining, you bring people out. It's a multi-purpose building. It's a, yeah, that's a good description of it. Here's a great idea to consider if you are building a shop or modifying an existing structure. The Olsons partitioned off a corner of their shop to create this parts room that not only holds a wealth of parts, but everything else from lubricants to tools. And that was kind of the nice thing about the other feature in that it, you have in the shop because it's a nice way to put stuff away and that's the parts room and the tool room that you have in the yeah. other corner. Yep. Explain what size room is that and, and what all goes stored in there? I don't even know the size of it but uh, some of our larger socket sets and tools and def stored in there and oil and, and it's kind of a catch-all room too I guess. Right. On the opposite corner of the shop that's kind of your if there's a there is no such thing as a fixed workbench here. You put everything on wheels. Everything is on wheels. We use rolling benches to roll out the projects we're working on. And, and then our, our waste oil is in that corner and we kind of store the torch and the welder over there. And, yeah. and we use it where it's needed, as needed. The two other things that I noticed here, and this is the second time I've seen this in a farm shop, the scissors lift that you had. Oh yes. And you got to tell me about this. This was one of those things you don't normally see in farm shops, but it, uh, well, kind of an indispensable tool. Yes, well, we use it on the combines, uh, tractor cabs on the roofs and stuff, and and especially the semi trailers for tarps and oh. and everything like that. It's 
much safer than a rolling ladder or anything. And the other thing was your floor cleaner. Now I begin to see more of these in farm shops, you, but yours is a, and I, most of them are just kind of vacuum units, right? This is water and vacuum. Okay, the advantage to that is? Well, it wets the dust down and sucks it up at the same time. Oh, okay. Kind of a Zamboni for, for yeah. shop floors then. Yep. There isn't too much that Doug would change on his shop, except to add to the length of the overhang from four to six feet and to go with 42 inch wide service doors. So Doug, if you had to change anything? My service doors. How so? There's 36 inch doors, I would put in 42s. Oh really? Just for the ease of getting things through them. Oh. An extra six inches to roll, a, to roll the steamer through, to roll the welder through, tool cart, just anything. I would have 42 inch doors. I've seen some guys starting to do that in their farm shop with the extra wide service door or passageway door. Uh, the gentleman we bought the building from, he had a, another client here to view the building and he asked me what I would change and I said about the only thing I would change is my service doors to 42 inch doors. And the gentleman we bought the building from, he goes, yep, that's what we're recommending now. The Olsons gave a lot of thought to what would become their farm's headquarters. Karn's going to give us an overview of their shop office complex. So Karn, why don't you take us on a tour of the office? Because you had a lot of uh, involvement, not only in the design of the shop itself, but also in the office. So when you first come in off the shop floor, you go through the main door. That goes right into what, a kitchen? Into the kitchen area. So what did you all put in the kitchen area? Is it a full service kitchen? It's a full service kitchen. And you will use this then for your noon meals or yes. whenever it's necessary? Whenever ne necessary, correct. And then your office is in there? Yes, my office is in there. So that's where all the hard work takes place then. Right. <laughs> and when you put that together, what were you looking for? What kind Just of a layout, something easy. So I had a lot of uh, counter space to work with. So when you have a project going, you're always waiting for another piece of information so you can leave it late. And a really neat idea that I've yet to see in a shop office, and that's your file room. Correct. What a cool idea that is. Where'd you come up with that? Um, I happened to be offered the file cabinets. Oh, the filing cabinets came first then. The filing cabinets came first before the shop was even built. It happened to be at the same time we are building the shop. Yeah. And we kind of tried to work them in there, and it turned out. Karn, one of the ideas that I I had liked, and that's where you put a sink outside in the shop. And that was mostly to keep people from tramping into the bathroom and dirtying right. it up. Right, Keep the guys outside in the shop with all their grease and dirt and all that and make the mess out there before it takes it into the, into the bathroom area. And you just didn't put an old wash tub out there. You, no. you kind of wanted it to be used underneath yep. as well. Yep, so we have storage underneath to put all the cleaning stuff and rags and stuff like that in there. The Olsons have found, like a great many other farm families, that the shop becomes an essential family gathering center. I'll see you next time on another Top Shop Tour. Now back to the game. And Green Bay scores! Yay! Yay! Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here, if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.